Well, I'm disappointed when a president of the United States lies. And that was a lie. There's no, there's no, there's no burden. Paris did not place outside burdens levied by any other country on any other country. So when the president says it puts a burden on us, no. We are assuming a de minimis level of what we ought to be doing. And the burden that is being put on the people of the world, as well as the United States, is the burden of ignorance to science, which is turning away from something as reasonable as what we did in Paris. Only the United States has pulled out. Only, actually, only Donald Trump has pulled out. Because the truth is that in the United States, 38 states and their governors have renewable portfolio laws, which they are implementing, and they're working towards Paris. And the passive indifference that, that most countries are accepting is basically a mutual suicide pact. That's what people are on right now, because we are not doing what is necessary to save the planet. It sounds, it sounds enormous, sounds dramatic, draconian. <coughs> it's real, folks. This is what scientists are telling us. I wish there was a lawsuit capacity that could hold people liable for such an insane decision as he has made, which is going to cost <coughs> lives. People will die because of the president's decision, and billions of dollars of damage will be done to property as a result of our not moving fast enough to do what is necessary to avoid the worst consequences. If you had President Trump sitting right up with you, what would your message to him be? I, I, I can't play that. I just, uh, I would... <laughs> uh, but, but I know it's that, important. you see, because it's he doesn't important. take any of this seriously. He doesn't have an ability to have that kind so of conversation. So what would you say to him to get it serious? What would your message be? Uh, resign. <laughs> okay.